Lesson one, imprinting. Explanation. Imprinting is when an animal at a young age undergoes learning that is irreversible. One example might be ducks, who will bond with almost anything it sees soon after hatching, believing that it is its mother. Watch how the snail reacts the first few times we poke him. Notice what happens after a couple prods. This is an example of habituation that has been observed in the mollusk that we have here. Isn't it remarkable? The snail will stop responding to the touch because it does not register it as a threat. This type of learning is found in many cases with many applications, but mostly to register how and whether to stimuli is really a threat. Something similar has been observed with groundhogs. When a groundhog sees a potential threat, an eagle or another predator, it will warn those nearby. It once did something similar with humans, but now it no longer does that. Isn't it remarkable? I'm not saying they become tame, far from it, but rather that those that live closer to human populated areas won't react to you if you're a fair way away. Operant conditioning. This is one of two types of conditional learning. When an animal does something that has good or bad consequences, it will learn either to do it or not to do it. This duck will probably never approach a boot in the same way again after a negative outcome of pecking one. If an outcome has, would have been positive, it would have most likely done the same thing many times, like you are about to see. Notice this time, the duck will do the same thing many times because it was rewarded when it did peck the boot. The duck now associates pecking the boot with being rewarded with bread. These two have nothing to do with each other, but in nature, they often do. Classical conditioning. Classical conditioning is slightly different. Instead of associating an action with an reward or punishment, it deals with the association of one stimuli with the reward or punishment. Originally, the stimuli is meaningless on its own. This may not look like much, but the dog has managed to associate the sound of his bowl hitting the ground with eating. This is an example of classical conditioning. Mm -hmm. 